Quetzalcoatl Entertainment presents Quentin's Animation Experiment Dance Episode 154 Usami and Nakoda Kurajis. Quentin's Animation Experiment Dance Episode 154 Usami and Nakoda Kurajis. just sent my script for chapter 56 of Himitsu Sentai Goranger back to me, along with his illustrations. Well, now that I know Usagi's my younger sister, I think the Godokujis ought to know about this, but let's head to Cerulean City and tell them. Okay, so Godokuji Manor is just north of Cerulean. On the way, there's a little bridge called Nugget Bridge. It was called that due to somebody finding a gold nugget on the bridge. Hey, Quentin, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing just fine, Gordon. I just learned something really mind-blowing yesterday, and I'm now heading to Godokuji Manor to tell them about it. Well, what's the information? It's about some family member that I didn't know I even had. Well, that is mind-blowing. We'll see you later. Okay, take care. Okay, here we are, Godokuji Manor. Wow, I can actually get a good view of the ocean from here. Anyway, let's tell the Godokujis about my relation to Asagi. Protection! Hey, Miyako. I can see that Shigeru, Koji, and Takashi are here, too. Well, yesterday I found out something mind-blowing about Asagi, and I think you guys ought to know about it. But what are we waiting for? Come on in! So what do you want us to know? Okay, it all began the day we defeated Devil Amazon. Just before she struck, Usagi came to my door, having a mesmerizing dream, so I had to snap her out of it. When waking up, she had the strangest feeling that she and I were related. Oh wow, that is mind-blowing! No, wait, there's more! She did this again the day before yesterday. I became very concerned about Usagi and could tell somebody was incorporating the dream into her. Well, who would do such a thing? Well, I was about to find out. A few hours later, three serial killers had broken out of jail, ready to wreak more havoc. I was about to stop them when Usagi came towards them, having the mesmerizing dream again. I found out that Luna was the one incorporating the dream into her all along. Oh, that black hat with the crescent-shaped mark on her forehead? Yep. Anyway, about a minute later, Usagi transformed into a power buff. She single-handedly took down the serial killers, just in time for the cops to reclaim them. Luna then woke Usagi up, who was surprised to see that she was wearing a power buff uniform. Luna would reveal everything the next day. So that's where yesterday comes in, right? Exactly. So yesterday, Usagi and I headed to the snack shop Gun, which you might know was under new management from an eagle soldier that left behind in order to run it. I can only assume that the Goranger's headquarters is gone now. It is. Anyway, when Luna came to our table, she proceeded to tell us that Kenji and Ikuko Tsukino weren't Usagi's real parents. She was only adopted, and therefore, Usagi's younger brother, Shingo, is their only child. I think this is the mind-blowing part. It turns out that Usagi was the daughter of my own parents. In other words, she is my younger sister. Oh my god! Well, that explains why she transformed to a pal of the previous day. Luna revealed to me that my brother and I were asleep when Usagi was born. My parents figured that it would be hard to raise all three of us at the same time, so Luna took Usagi to Animation Land, where Kenji and Ikuro Tsukino found her and raised her as their own. So Usagi now has two identities, a Powerpuff called Bunny and Sailor Moon. Oh my god, that really was mind-blowing! Well, I have actually recruited Usagi to help us out whenever she's needed. Well, let's keep an eye out for whenever the next mechanical monster attacks, okay? Okay, see you around! Well, now that the Godokujis know about my relation to Usagi, I'm sure we'll have an easier time taking down crime. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Prepare for whenever crime attacks again, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Hall, copyright 2019. The 
This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.